Good morning, is it still? Yeah, still morning. Uh, today I wanted to do a little bit of a video walkthrough about Review Hunt and their um, PDF that they've put out, which is kind of their uh, deck, their pitch deck for investors and people who they're partnering with, so the tokenomics company, people like that. Uh, this is the second part of a three-part phase of the token.steamhunt.com proposal and the first proposal has been done obviously with steam hunt's been very successful they've launched an ieo i think it was the first steam dap to launch an ieo which was very successful lots of people bought into it uh the mods as i am one of them did very well out of it as well we all uh, st stored up like hunt tokens over the last year and people have been trading them and even though they've dropped to half of the price of the initial ieo there's still a lot of trading back and forth there and people are still hunting on a daily basis so I did ask a few questions of Project 7, P7. There's two main leads, Project 7 and Tabarus. They've just hired, I think probably about a month and a half, two months ago, a new front-end developer who's incredibly fast, that seems to be really keeping Tabarus on his toes in terms of providing him with back-end API resources uh, to obviously connect up to the front-end. And I asked P7 if there was any updates, because obviously we're only a few weeks away from July, and July is supposed to be the launch date of the second part, Review Hunt. So I wanted to go through the pitch deck a little bit today um, and explain a few things that I'm seeing visually on the on the plan. So it starts off with fund quests, early users. So I'm kind of translating that from Korean, that companies with a marketing spend are going to be looking for users to come along, test out their their software or their product or uh, their services in general and step through a series of tasks and become their first early users of using their platform. So as you can see from the first graphic, um, we've got an app here. Pretend I don't know if it's a pretend app or a real app, but it's called Bark. And you can see the hunters on the question out now is 57. Total bounty to win for you personally. $115. So you can see that it's broken down into different quests. So at this point, it start of ma starts to make me think, and I've put this in the text, that is this the thing that can be quite similar to this is Mechanical Turk. So Mechanical Turk is very like micro task orientated. Uh, normally somebody will put in that they want a specific function doing. They're willing to pay a certain percentage of a value to get that done. And there's normally different phases different levels to that so level one might be take this text and write it out in english and then the next level might be somebody fact checking that or checking the the, the pronunciation the grammar of it and and step down a variety of levels until you finally end up with a more polished end result so in some ways it's kind of like a decentralized version of that because we're using the hunt token to incentivize the person to step through those tasks so you can see here, quest one, two dollars, quest two, three dollars, four, six. So it's kind of like, I kind of see this not just as somebody reviewing a new product or service, but also a way of micro-tasking out to hunters. So that's the first That's the first uh, page. Let's go on to the next one. Review hunt a gate to tap into tech early adopters. Kind of a nondescript slide, that one. I, I would probably change that one up. Next one. Problems of early user marketing. New products are flooding out even though users are less likely to try them. So I would agree that there is a million different ways to take notes. There is a million different ways to take photos uh, and filters. And also I would say that people download stuff, especially myself, and use it a couple of times and then never use it again and then end up with loads of apps on my phone that I don't use. So with this one, example, mobile app industry, 2.1 million apps are downloaded on the Google Play Store. I don't know over what period of that is. 92.8% download less than five apps per month, um, which doesn't sound like a hell of a lot of apps really. So I can imagine trying to push or promote your apps to get some exposure. It's kind of difficult for the very small developer. Uh, why review hunt? Review campaigns with fun quests that build early user and quality reviews. So... I really like the clean layout that they've done with Review Hunt. You can see on the side here, Fund Quest plus bounties make cool products fly high. 140,000 total bounty fund and 1,054 total hunters who are on quests. 
Fun quests that are connected with your core features. 22,000 tech early adopters become your seed users. The quest participants create quality reviews via various channels. And I think that's very important there, that point. Create quality reviews. So who's defining the quality? And so th this is an area that I, I'm a little bit concerned about, but we'll see how it pans out. We'll see who becomes the board of reviewers. Uh, is there going to be a board of reviewers? Is it just going to be a group think upvote downvote on what they think is a good review or will it be down to the actual company who puts in the marketing funds to be able to say yes this is useful to me we will use bits of this uh, will that then spawn relationships outside of review hunt that the person can go direct to that person and work with them directly be kind of interesting to see if we end up with a bunch of youtubers or twitch users or people who've just invested lots of money in video equipment come along and get on board and start in start earning hunt tokens uh quests so this is a bit that really uh, stands out for me and i think if they do this correctly it could be a lot of fun as well as just you know the stacking of the tokens so run quests that lead early adopters to become real users of your product cool products have a set of unique features in general that it can attract many users in review hunt makers can make serial quest missions that lead users to embark on the product journey so I kind of like this. I do have a concern that the product maker won't necessarily have a lot of time or will see this as quite overwhelming to build out so many quests. That's, you know, I don't know if that's the case or not, but my concern is is um, them weighing up what the value of each part of that quest is in terms of money. Um, and how many times they will come back because they got a quality review or they got quality interactions out of it. It's very easy to set up little tasks and have people step through just to take the money, but will they become users that become avid users, become amplifiers, become brand advocates of your product moving forward? So these quests and reviews, I would think that a, a maker of an app really should go to detail on these. And I think that will be one area that I'll spend a lot of time on video in terms of helping makers put those questions together to get the most value out of it. But because in some countries, like $2 for part of this quest is quite a lot of money. And so, you know, we're, we're talking about a marketing spend here and you want to you wanna make sure that that company, if they're putting hundreds of thousands of dollars in, is getting a good return on investment on their bottom line for their product either be a uh, paid for product or has features within it or is it a physical item itself uh, next up hunters 22,000 tech hunters are ready to try your products review hunt is built on top of steam hunt the biggest tech community in blockchain uh, hunters love to dig out new products and talk about them with others over 65,000 new products are shared with the steam community so that instantly validates review hunt because steam hunt's been around for a year we have proof we have metrics we have the ieo people can see that you know people who might not have never used steam hunt before maybe they're a youtuber maybe they're worried about getting delisted uh they're seeing their friends uh, or similar shows that they love disappear they may be looking for alternatives to work and acquire cryptocurrency so review hunt might be the first time they actually do that uh, custom content that penetrates reddit youtube twitter instagram medium and hundreds more i think this is the most valuable will end up being the most valuable part of review hunt is the ability for somebody who's a brand new developer or somebody who's built a brand new product or doesn't have a social strategy in place for them to reach out to as many channels as possible and it be from those that person's connected accounts so instead of it just being that company broadcasting to all of these sites, just effectively spamming all these sites, there'll be individual people doing individual reviews. And that has a lot of SEO value for the companies, but also a company could take 100 reviews and you know whittle that down, bring it down to the, to the good stuff, and then go to a marketing agency and, and, and make a better video based on the feedback that people have, have given into the product. And it might actually help them improve the product in a in a faster cycle as well. Um, so let's take a, look, a quick look at this case study for Bark app. Uh, run review campaign, transform people's lives, 
purchase review credit. So you can see that all of these are elements coming in. So like the review of a campaign, transforming people nearby into fun barking dogs. What an app. Uh, purchase review credit by credit card or various payment methods. So what's happening here is that the startup will buy a bunch of credit and that will be hunt token credits and then we'll make some quests so that these are the step three quests that you will do make your first bark actually use the app become a top dog dog on the app leave an app store review so there's three dollars there just for an app store review and then the next step for it is buzz spread the app so anywhere between zero and a hundred dollars to be able to do that and and again that goes down to your youtube channel your reddit channel your twitter whichever one that you want to use and if the maker thinks that that created value for their product so from the hunter's perspective for the influencers that are already on steam hunt they can join these quests and they can start creating those reviews for multiple products it doesn't just have to be one product and then they get hunt bounties back and then the hunters complete each quest so straightforward um how to set review credit so this is for the maker who's coming in with their product set quest and decide bounty price for each quest set max number of hunters you want to participate total review credit is calculated with some of total quest bounties so you can see that here i want to reach 200 hunters this is how much credit i'm going to need to do that now there is marketing there is companies that are going out to marketing agencies strategists that are paying a hell of a lot of money to do similar things to this now obviously the current digital agencies will have a hand-picked collective of people that they trust they've worked with for many years they know what kind of quality of video or content they're going to be put out from their brand advocates and so therefore they can charge a certain amount but what's new about this is that there's nothing else out there for brand advocacy that i know that provides a decentralized crypto token and I, I i just don't know of any agencies that are doing doing this and paying their advocates in tokens so this could also become a pathway for a lot of the big brands a lot of brand agencies and the digital agencies to look into review hunt or maybe partner review hunt to spin up their own token um, so there's lots of crossovers there that's the exciting bit for me is that this is a decentralized brand advocacy token that there is nothing else that i've seen that works as efficiently as this steam back token uh, creating launching hype hunters with own social community channels will create quality custom content about your product so you get a listing here of who's in the top percent and if they've got reddit youtube instagram steam channels uh, where they are whereabouts in the in the world they are you can request those people for a review and you can kind of see their hype index of how well they're doing broadcasting putting out um, the messaging on their variety of their social channels for your product so real tokens demands come from companies marketing's budget so partner exchange this is going to be an interesting one the partner exchange i think right now they're considering it being uh, an exchange so like daybit for instance on the left hand side you've got the maker and the fiat coming in for the review of the campaign then what happens is via credit card or wire transfer the fiat part comes into review hunt goes out to the partner there's a buy order there for hunt via the exchange and then obviously they get their hunt tokens and then once they've got the hunt tokens they're transferred into the pot, the pot for bounties so in crypto for bounties and then the hunter can either be head hunted to be searched to to do a review or the the maker can come along and say i want to work with these people and add them to the project so that's that's hugely powerful for a maker who might already have ideas of who they want to work with or uh, have seen uh, existing content from that person instead of just like firing forget and hope for the best that 200 hunters are going to provide you with decent reviews so really like that part i really like the gamification side of it i hope we see lots of improvements over time on that part and that's it really you can download this blueprint this uh, pitch deck from token.steamhunt.com and uh, if you have any questions about review hunt or you want to debate it talk about it have any thoughts about it just put them in the comments or send me a video reply and uh, i'll get back to you thanks a lot cheers bye Drifting slowly into an empty space.
just do.